Hi, so today I want to talk about a few products that I like, a few that I don't care for, some that I finished using and whether or not I would repurchase them, and a couple new things. For starters, I used this new foundation for the first time today. It's the Clinique Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. I ordered this online and you know what? I am happy to say I finally ordered the right color. Uh, this is an alabaster. I've ordered Clinique makeup before and it it's not a good thing to try to color match yourself from ordering online, so whatever. This is a, this is a win. Um, so this doesn't have very matte finish. It, I wouldn't say it's really glowy. It's more of a natural finish. I did build it up a little bit. It isn't uh, very full coverage. I'll see how it, how it goes throughout the day. I have been having trouble with my nose with my foundation staying on. Um, so I am happy to report that I found a mattifying primer. The Rimmel Mattifying. Um, I have been using this in my T-zone and it has helped a bit with my nose. So I'm going to keep using it, see how it works with this foundation today. And uh, yeah, it, it does help with my nose problem though. So I ordered this Master Chrome Maybelline Highlighter and I had only heard really good things about it. I don't know if I ordered the wrong color and if I should have got the rose gold one, but this just seems way too dark for my skin tone. I used it a couple times, but with such a light hand that it was barely even noticeable just because I was afraid of having like a gold streak across my cheek. Um, it is very beautiful though, but what I do have good luck with, I also ordered this. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy. It's more of a rose gold. Um, they do have one that's even pinker. I used this today. I probably can't even see with my... Oh. I used this today. I don't know if you can really see. I didn't go in with a heavy hand because, again, just out of fear, especially since it's my first time using it. Um, but it is very beautiful, and I really like it. I decided to just take my glasses off because they were really dirty, and there's a glare, and it was bugging me. Okay, so my eyebrows. My eyebrows are a little bit crazy right now, but um, I went a solid week without an eyebrow pencil because I ran out, I was using my Benefit one, and then my backup one is the NYX one, and I ran out of that one. So then I was just using a brow powder, and it wasn't good. I need an eyebrow pencil. So I actually tried a new one. This is the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal, and it's actually pretty good. Um, I do, I like the Benefit one better. I find the shade is a little bit cooler, um, but I actually preferred this one over the NYX one. So this is going to be my new backup one, but for now it's my primary one. So a little while ago I bought this Tattoo Studio Brow Gel by Maybelline, and I just, I had watched somebody on YouTube use it, and they, like they, they just used it straight out of the package right on their brows. And they got it to look good, and they really loved it, and then there was a re-review, so I was like, oh, I want to buy that. So I did, and then I used it like that, and holy, no, it was awful. Um, but then I saw somebody else use it a different way, and I was like, well, that is smart. So the key to this, which kind of like defeats the pur purpose of even having a wand, but if you use a an eyebrow brush, just a little slim angled brush, and use it, and then I just use it on kind of the tail of the brow and it does not budge at all and then because I have I have really long eyebrow hairs that are wild and like they'll move all over the place if I don't use a gel I just use this by essence it's the make me brow and it just comes on a wand with a little spoolie you can see that um and this does add a little bit of tint. It just holds the hairs in place really nicely uh, throughout the day. And it's like, actually, this used to be $2, and now it's $4. So I think people are catching on to some of these um, more affordable brands, and now they're raising their prices. Another new product I ordered is the Mario Badescu? Badescu? I don't know how to pronounce it. This is um, this is something that I saw all over YouTube, so I was like, oh, I gotta buy this. It's very nice. I haven't really noticed a difference with my skin, but it is very refreshing and it smells really nice. It has aloe, herbs, and rose water. 
and then it says that you can use this just on your bare skin or you can use it as a makeup setting spray or just as a refresher throughout the day and it does feel very nice and hasn't done anything bad to my skin has it done anything good I don't know but as you can see I've only used a little bit of it so far so I will report back with whether or not this is worth it so a product that I finished and do want to buy again is Burt's Bees Rose Water Toner. I really, really noticed the difference with my skin when I was using this and it is empty and I need to buy a new one. I just haven't yet, uh, but it is so good. I use this after, after I wash my face at night. I go over my face with this. It isn't a harsh toner, but it does pick up anything else that's left on. It has rose water, glycerin, and aloe. So it isn't, it doesn't feel harsh. It doesn't feel like you're sucking all the moisture out of your skin and it doesn't medicate your skin. It just lifts up the rest of the, the dirt and remaining traces of any oil, but it, it doesn't make your skin feel dry. Micellar water. Um, I use the Garnier Skin Active. This is great when, if it's great to remove some of your makeup if, say, you come back from the gym and you're just feeling kind of gross and you just need a little pick me up. I wouldn't, I don't use this as an alternative to washing my face, but it is nice just as a refresher. It doesn't make your skin feel dry. It does have glycerin in it, so it, you can use it on sensitive skin too, from what I hear. I don't have sensitive skin, uh, but this is also safe to use around your eyes, so it does really help with the removal of eye makeup. It's really good. And then another micellar water is, well, I guess it's a micellar cleansing milk. For face and eyes. This is Sephora. So this is the coconut one, which is supposed to be soothing and relaxing. These are always on sale and I want to reorder this. Um, I think I'll reorder one. There's a whole bunch. They have like a lemon one and they have a rose water one and they have um, an aloe one and they have a green tea one and they have a charcoal one and they're like six bucks. So next time I order something from Sephora, I think I'm going to order another one of them. I really like this. Um, I don't know if it changed my skin in a positive way, but I had I stopped using this one for a little while um, just because we didn't have any and I didn't repurchase it. And then I had this, so I, I swapped it out with this. And I found that this left my skin feeling really soft when I used it. So I will repurchase this one. Is it so amazing that I've already rushed out to buy another one? No. Is it decent? Yes. Those are just some of the products I wanted to talk about today. Let me know if there's anything that I should be trying out. I always want to try out new products. Have you used any of these products and have they worked for you? Um, and what about this highlighter? Because everybody says this is so amazing. Not, I don't know, maybe it's just the wrong one for my skin tone and I just goofed up and bought the wrong one. But um, this was a really big letdown. What do you think? Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.